10th of April 1923, Liam Lynch, the leader of the Republican anti-treaty side. Most people think it was De Valera. It wasn't. He was just an ordinary soldier. So he was killed in a skirmish in the Knockmill Down Mountains in uh, County Tipperary. The Free State Army, now at this time known as the National Army, had extracted information from some of the Republican prisoners in Dublin that the IRA executive was in uh, the area. So as well as killing Lynch, they captured a couple of the senior anti-treat IRA officers, Dan Breen, the very famous Dan Breen, Todd Andrews, who went on to become a Fianna Fáil politician, uh, Sean Gaynor, Frank Barrett. So Frank Aiken, who took over as IRA chief of staff, uh, his ascension, he took over from Liam Lynch, his ascension to leadership was followed on the 30th of April by the declaration of suspension of military activities uh, on the 24th of May 1923, he issued a ceasefire order to the IRA volunteers. They were to dump their arms rather than surrender them or continue the fight. They knew they were incapable of winning and this was the end of our civil war. So now the casualty list is very hard to find a true estimate, but the estimates kind of go from about 2,000 to 4,000. And that is, yeah, yeah, and that's military civilian. But at the time, um, it cost money to register a death. Money a lot of people didn't have. So a lot of these deaths weren't registered. And it's one of these things that we academics have tried and have never been able to agree on one figure. So that's why I've put two to four thousand. But now we have to remember, so Dublin and most of the major cities were still in ruin from 1916, the War of Independence, the Civil War. So you can imagine the GPO or Con Street in Dublin, the Four Courts, the Customs House, many other parts of the city were completely destroyed. And because the, the, the Free State had to build this, it was going to quite, cost quite a lot of money. So you're talking the material damage from the just the property. Uh, it's estimated about £50 million in 1922, or about £2.4 <laughs> um worth of damage 1922, uh, 2022 values. Oh, of course. But so you can imagine then this, this money, so £2.4 billion worth of damage. Now the cost alone of for the Free State to wage the war was about £17 million, or in today's value, £883 million. So what happened then was the Free State unfortunately ended the 1923 uh, budget with a deficit of £4 million. So you're talking around £196 million. So this week in financial situation had some consequences. It meant that the state couldn't pay its share of imperial debt under the treaty. So what this was, was Ireland had agreed during the treaty negotiations to pay a share of the war debt incurred during World War I. Now, unfortunately, this adversely affected the boundary negotiations in 1924-25. And the Free State ended up uh, acquiescing that the border with the North should remain unchanged in uh, exchange for forgiveness of the imperial debt. Unfortunately, and that is why the Border Commission ended up not being really of any use in, in, in the history of Ireland. But so, in the lead up to this, everyone was filled with hope that the fortunes of the ordinary people would change. But this, unfortunately, would be dispelled. 